destruction. And they come back to our Lord and say that, Lord, the devils also are subject to us in thy name. And then Christ said to them, I saw Satan like lightning falling from heaven. This is an important word against the Protestants, against the enemies of our holy church. That God did give power to his 72 disciples, that is to his priests. And the priests went out and they saw the devil. They spoke in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and told the devil to go out. Now the priests do this every time they hear confessions. They, every time a priest hears a confession, and he says, Ego te absolvo apocatis tuis, he drives the devil out. He simply throws the devil out. And in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the devil is cast down. Now note this. Our Lord said, our Lord is walking with some of the apostles, with the twelve apostles. The seventy-two disciples are going out, whom he sent in front out of, of, of the apostles. And they say, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, let the, I command you, devil, to go forth. And the devils obeyed them. And they came back rejoicing. Behold, the devils obey us. And the devils are cast out in thy name. And then our Lord says, I, the Lord Jesus Christ, I, the creator of the world, and I, the God who became man, I saw Satan falling from heaven. And then he points out that the, Christ will not directly be the one to drive away all the sins. He will not be directly the one to bring all directly to Christ as the Protestants falsely teach. Behold, I have given you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon all power of the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. I have given you power to tread upon the serpents. I have given you power to drive out the devil and to cast out the devil. And this is the reason why our Holy Church teaches us that in the Sacrament of Holy Orders, there are seven stages of Holy Orders. Porter, the doorkeeper, Lector, the one who reads and teaches the Catechism, and Exorcist, the third order, the one who drives out devils. And above the Exorcist, there is the Acolyte, there is a Subdeacon, there is a Deacon, there is a Priest, and there is the Bishop. So there are five orders above Exorcist, and only two below. So there is a Porter, he's the guy who opens the doors and closes the doors. He is below the Exorcist who casts out the devil. Then there's the lector. He's the one that reads the catechism and who teaches the catechism and reads the sacred scripture. And he is below the exorcist. And then there's the exorcist who has the power to cast out the devil. And our Lord says, yes, you are priests of God. And I have given you the power to cast out the devil. Whenever we bless food or bless water or bless anything, the priest drives out little devils. And whenever there is this most important way the priest drives out devils is by the sacrament of baptism and the sacrament of penance. By which the devil is driven out by the simple word of the priest commanding the devils to go out. I command you, O Satan, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, go forth. Go forth, uh, unclean spirit, go forth and be, go back and do hell. And the devils obey. And our Lord said, I saw the devils obey. I saw the devils obey my priests. I gave power to my priests to drive out the devils. I gave power to my priests to stand upon serpents and scorpions and not be harmed by them. But then our Lord points out, But yet, rejoice not in this, that spirits are subject to you. Don't rejoice that spirits are subject to you, because this is nothing. They are only wicked spirits. They are only devils. They are nothing. Do not rejoice in this, that the, the devils are subject to you, but rather rejoice that your names are written in heaven. That is a thing to be written to be rejoiced about, because there's only one thing to rejoice in. The presence of God, the vision of God, the sight of God, the receiving of all of God, all the blessings that come from God. That is the only thing to rejoice in. Other things are only stepping stones and preparations. And so therefore we should not be overly disturbed and we should also not be overly rejoicing. The apostles came back and they rejoiced. 
They rejoiced that they were able to cast out devils. And the Lord said, yes, you can cast out devils. And I, while I was here walking with my twelve apostles, and I was talking with my twelve apostles, I saw the devil fall down into hell. I saw the devil fall because you 72 disciples, that is, you priests of the church, you cast out the devil. And God saw the devils fall because the priests cast them out. And remember also, whenever the lepers were cleansed, even the Old Testament priests were, were, were sent by God. God said, go show yourselves to the priests. And hence we see the, the modern idea that we can go to God without the priest, that we can cast out the devil without any reference to the priest, that we don't need the blessings of the priest, and we don't need the exorcism of the priest, which is given in every blessing, and given in every absolution. We don't need that. This is, this is going against Christ, because he said, I, Christ, saw the devil fall down. And the, when the apostles were rejoicing, behold, the devils obeyed us. Behold, the devils were cast out. And then our Lord said, all right, you're rejoicing. And I did see the devil cast out, but do not rejoice over this. This is not a reason for rejoicing. You throw a devil out, a devil will come back. You throw a devil out, a devil will come back. You throw a devil to hell, well, that's where he lives anyway. There's no reason to rejoice in that. What do we rejoice in? We rejoice that our names are written in paradise, that our names are written in heaven. You 72 disciples, your names are written in heaven. You apostles, your names are written in heaven. You saints of God, your names are written in heaven. And for this rejoice, rejoice to be in the presence of God, to receive his gifts, to see him face to face. That's a reason to rejoice. There's no need to rejoice over simple worthless devils being cast out of souls, and simple worthless devils being cast out into the hell, where they must remain for all eternity anyway, in utter abject destruction and failure and, and eternal pain. That's nothing to rejoice over. Let them be cast out, but let the world know that our Lord Jesus Christ has given power to the priest to cast them out. But the casting out of devils is not what causes us joy. What causes us joy is that our names and the names of all the children given over to us by holy baptism and by the confession and by the instruction of our holy faith, that the names of, of, of ourselves and our children are written in heaven. This is the cause of rejoicing. And let us not be rejoicing over other things. The devil is not worth being attentive to, even to rejoice over his demise. He's not even worth that. Let our rejoicing be only that our names are written in heaven and that Christ we must see face to face and that and receive all his blessings. That's something to rejoice over and there's nothing else worth rejoicing over. And so God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.